Hey, Papa BO2 here. Today we're going to do some hive inspection. And I just don't believe that we're going to get all this on one video. So stick around. Okay. We are going to take this feeder off of this hive and set it over here and put a little smoke in there. We don't want to get anybody upset, but we also want to kind of cool things down a little bit before we get going. We are going to start by taking a high beetle trap out and we do have a few there, not many. Looks like they're keeping the high beetle population under control here. I like to see that. Only one, only one beetle in this one. Okay, we're gonna start over here on this side. And normally this outside frames don't have anything on them and this is a this is a foundationless frame anyway and they have done very little to this as you can see just a little bit drawn out there very little this hive has a uh a oil uh, tray underneath it got some uh Spotty brood here. I, I do believe this is a frame that I I brought out of the other hive that went to, that went dead. So let's see what we've got here. Not many bees. Not many at all. Not uh, many at all. Uh, those two frames that you just saw, I brought those out of uh, out of the other hive over there. Now we're getting to the center of the hive, and in my opinion, this should not be here. This is a lot of honey and no brood. Lots of honey and no brood. And we are gonna put this sucker right out here on the side. Now where we were to have brood is in here. Nothing. Nothing at all. Okay. Uh, They've got a lot of drawn out uh, comb here. And some pollen. You'll have to forgive me. But uh, I just don't see any eggs. I just don't see any. And that can be a problem. All right, this next, this next frame has some brood on it. How much? I'm not sure yet. It has some, very spotty. Uh-oh. Here's a queen cell and one that is uh, either opened up or not kept yet, one or the other. So I'm going to look in there, see if I can see an egg. Yeah, we got, we got royal jelly in there. I don't think this queen's doing a very good job. And they don't either. That's why we've got a queen cell here. 
Very spotty, very spotty brood. Very spotty. In fact, we may not even have a queen. She may have evacuated. I do have some bees in a trap up here. And she just may have went up there with them. There's some brood in here, uh, but it's very, very spotty. Very small amount. Very small amount. There's a, I'm telling there's a there's a queen cell right there. That tells me that she ain't in here at all. And they probably went to work replacing her the day after she left. We got here, next one, absolute empty frame, just a little bit of drawn out cone with some nectar in it, and that's it. The next one, some brood, and more honey, and a, a queen cell that's open, but uh, I'm sure it has not been, uh, been vacated by a queen, it's just, it's probably just a, just a small cap, there, there's the honey right there. I knew it was somewhere on here because it was heavy. It was heavy. Look at there, half a dozen cap brood cells over here. It's nothing at all. Nothing at all. Very, very disappointed in this. Very disappointed. Move out of the way, ladies. Now this last one over here, again, brood, not much on this side. Honey, they run this honey all the way up against the side of the, the, uh, the hive here. A few brood down here, this side a lot more, but they're very spotted. She does not have a good pattern whatsoever of laying. And another queen cell. Uh-huh. I do believe that this gal has fled the coop. I know we got two queen cell, two queen cells over here on this side. Yep, I do believe this old gal has flown the coop. The coop or the hive, whichever one you want to say. She gone. She gone. Now what we're going to do is get off some of this brew cone. Which has honey in it. Like I say, we do have a few uh, brood in here on this side. Get out of the way, girl. Get out of the way. But just too many, too many empty frames. Too many empty frames. I'm going to move some of these around. So maybe we can get some action on them. And put them in the middle of the hive when we get a new queen. Because we're going to get one. We are going to get one. They are working on it. 
as we speak. Uh, I'm going to put this foundationless hive of frame over here on the side, on this other side, because I want them to do something with it. I want some comb, some comb honey. And that's the best way I know to get it, is to put a foundationless frame in here and let them go to work on it. That is, that sucker is tight. Got all that wax build up on it. You want to go in there. Okay. I'm looking down here to see if I can see a queen. I have reduced the entrance of this hive uh, a good a good bit, and uh, I thought maybe she might have been down there, but she's not. She's not there. So, what we're going to do is uh, put some strips in there. Some uh, uh, some anti mite strips. We're going to put this high beetle trap in this corner and another one in this corner over here yeah, if we can get these frames to move around Ugh. they are so loaded up so tight it's pretty pretty difficult to do anything there but I'm only give it a shot do the best I can to get him loaded in there. Still no luck. There we go. There we go. Got a little room then. A little more room then. Let me get down in there now. There we go. Got him down in there now. Okay. Not much smoke left. But we're going to go back onto the top. And some feed. And I think that's all we will do on this one right now. Okay, that's part one of today. Stay tuned for part two. We'll be right at it.